Hello everybody, welcome back to Tabit. Hi everybody, on this video we're going to be eating lots of local food here in Sasebo. Sasebo is known for many local dishes such as the Sasebo burger. We're so looking forward to eating everything that this city has to offer. This video is sponsored by Boksu. More on them later. Guys, this is my third time in Sasebo and I love this city. I love how compact it is. You can walk to pretty much everywhere. I love that there is a port. The whole city is surrounded by mountains. The commercial area is within walking distance of Sasebo Station. Today, we're going to spend an entire day here with you guys. The Sasebo city is the second largest city in Nagasaki Prefecture. The population is about 250,000 and it's conveniently accessed from Hakata, by limited express train, it takes about 1 hour and 15 minutes. Also, from Nagasaki city, it takes about 1 hour and 30 minutes by bus. It's very convenient. Our day starts here at the port of Sasebo, which is right across from the station. And our day starts with a burger, the famous Sasebo burger. We're at this place called Hikari. It's one of the most established shops here in Sasebo. They opened shop in 1951. This is not their main branch, but it's the most convenient from the station. We got their number one special burger with a side of fries and a drink. We got the hot tea because it's a pretty cold day today. This is the first burger I had on my first trip to Sasebo and I fell in love with the burgers here. So good. Lettuce, tomato, there's some sliced onion, bacon, egg, burger patty, square of cheese, all on a really nice toasted bun. The potatoes here in Sasebo, as far as I notice, it's always seasoned with salt and pepper. Look at that, and they're, it's so delicious. I'm gonna start with the fries. Thank you, Mas. Mm. It's so good. Fresh out of the fryer. Mm. Mm, the salt and pepper is so good. You really don't need any ketchup. Because I had this burger, and this is Satoshi's first time, I'm gonna have Satoshi take the first bite. I can see uh, specks of pepper. It must be really good. Itadakimasu. Mmm, 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 mmm. Outside, sakuto. Inside, fuato. Very nice. Fuafato means fluffy. It's good potato texture. And this pepper works really nice. I already know it's good because I like this texture of buns. Itadakimasu. Uman. Mmm, mmm. Buns are very fluffy, but outside the surface is nicely toasted, a little bit sakuto inside fluffy, and the lettuce is very shaki shaki. It has a crispiness, and bacon has a good salt flavor. Egg and this burger patty combines nicely. It has a very good beef flavor. Now, to be called a sasebo burger, there are some rules. Flexible, but there are some rules. Well, first of all, everything has to be made with local ingredients. So, you know, the lettuce, uh, the, the veggies, the eggs, uh, the, the meat, all has to be local and the buns cannot be store-bought. They also have to be homemade or housemade. I think sometimes certain places they go overboard with the burgers and there's just too much. You can't really taste the burger itself. You can't taste the meat anymore. But this one, everything in this burger enhances the flavor of the beef and it's just so delicious. The bacon is so smoky. By the way, we decided to get one burger here today because we're gonna go to another burger place here in Sasebo, my other favorite place. Okay, so we are walking towards Yonkacho Shotengai. Uh, this is the main uh, commercial hub of Sasebo City. Um, it's a very, very long Shotengai. And the reason why we're here is because I want Satoshi to try the famous Sasebo sandwich. That's not the name of the sandwich, but um, it's a sandwich that's been 
um, sold for about 50 years at this department 50. store, this <laughs> local department store. Yeah, so you, we have to try this. We have to try this. That's and of course, curious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. After that, we gotta get another burger. But we also have to go to a bakery up the mountains. I wonder if we can walk up the mountain. I hope so. Yeah, so this Shotengai is where all the locals hang out. Of course, the home of the burger shop we're gonna visit later. But this place has lots of uh, produce shops, grocery stores, there's a bookshop, bakeries, uh, there's clothing stores, like there's a oh, hundred yen stores, just a couple of them here. But yeah, uh, th this place has everything and I love it. And it's a pretty long shopping guy, so you can get your 10,000 steps in. During walking this shopping road, we found a very historic sweet shop. It's called Shogetsudo. This shop opened in 1905, more than 100 years. The oldest Japanese sweet shop in Sasebo. Their specialty is Kasteira and Marlboro. Today, we bought both, but Kasteira we will open at home. Marlboro is brought from Portugal about 400 years ago. Ooh, mochili. It's more squishy I Im than imagined. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's firmer than Castella. Good sweetness with egg and honey. It's nice. Texture is like it's a little bit firmer than soft cookie. The sweetness is just right, not overly sweet. Mmm. I cannot wait to try the Castella at home. The Castella looks so good. Middle of the, this shopping road, there is a station. Just a station, but for me, it's very interesting. Name is Sasebo Chuo Station. Narrow side street, you will see in 10 seconds, you will see a station entrance. It's a very hidden place. Turn right, and here is a station, Sasebo Chuo Station. So this station is not JR. This is is a Matsura Railroad company, Matsura Railroad. This railroad connected Sasebo and Arita. This station is designated Japan Heritage. It was the first elevated city railway in the Kyushu region. The distance from here to the Nakasasebo station, only 200 meters. 200 meters? Yes. I think it's faster to walk. Yes, that's right. The Japan's shortest Distance. Really? The, yeah, station, antenna station. Oh, that's so interesting. <laughs> I, I like this um, whole area. It has a very, um, how do you say, Showa era vibe. That's right. Man, mm -hmm. this whole mm -hmm. area, it's really nice. Mm. Right here above us, this is the railroad. Wow. <laughs> Walking side the street, you will see a bridge of railroad. Here is a railroad, and 20 meters away, you can see a bridge crossing the road. Hey guys, so before we continue with the video, please let me tell you a little bit about our friends at Boksu. Boksu is a subscription service that delivers premium Japanese snacks and tea berries straight from Japan to your doorstep. Every month they have a theme. This month it is the new year. This month they include 14 different snacks from around the country, a lot of them exclusive and rare and hard to find. Satoshi and I, we really love the fact that they work with local small businesses. For example, this month you can find Ampan from a company called Home Ampan. They've been in business for over 100 years. I love the Daruma Senbei rice crackers they included this month. The rice crackers are shaped like Daruma, the traditional Japanese doll symbolizing good luck. And there are eight different flavors in here like matcha, nori, and black sesame. You guys get to try the hojicha warabi mochi. Warabi mochi is one of our favorite Japanese sweets. So get started on your own Japanese snack journey. Just click the link in the description below this this video, use the code to get $15 off your first purchase. We promise you guys will love Boksu. We are just uh, over halfway through the Shotengai and this is where the department store Tamaya is located. It's a local department store and this is where you can buy the famous sandwich. Oh, oh I'm very, very looking forward to try it. So after we bought sandwich, we came to Sasebo Park. This park is located just a couple of minutes away from Tamaya Department Store. And I'm very happy. I am eating the sandwich. Very popular 50 years history sandwich. This sandwich uses ham, lettuce, cucumber, egg. First, I want to 
tell about this bread. It's Japanese bread. It's fluffy, but this is designed for sandwiches, especially designed for sandwich, I believe, because the, the thickness is very thin. And of course, it's fluffy, but a little bit firm. Japanese mayonnaise has sourness, but this one is sweet, but not, not overly sweet. The texture of lettuce is pari pari to shaki shaki to. It still retains crispiness. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I want to try tomato and egg. Mmm, this is tomato and egg and cucumber. But the sweetness combined with this tartness of tomato and the flavor of egg, it becomes like fruit. This is the ham with the cucumber. The mayo reminds me a tiny bit of Miracle Whip that they sell in the U.S. I think Miracle Whip is a little sweeter, but, but not exactly the same. It's like in between Miracle Whip and Cupy Mayo, I think. Oh, it's so good. And ingredients are so fresh. That's the cucumber, the egg, and ham. And of course, that mayo. Look at that mayo. So much mayo here. And the bread is so fluffy. Mmm. Mmm. Actually, it's best when you have all the ingredients together in your mouth. The ham, cucumber, egg, and the meal, and the bread. Mmm. Simple, but so good. So we are at the foot of one of the hills. Um, really, just walking distance once again from the Shotengai. But we're going to go to a bakery, apparently. Yes, a bakery. Where is it, though? On the mountain. On the mountain. <laughs> So we're gonna start by climbing this these steps. Yes. And how long does it take from here? About 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Okay, doesn't sound long, but up the mountain? I hope it's worth it. I believe this is the right way. And we're going down again. We're going down oh. the hill again. Oh. We have to, that means we have to go back up. Oh. <laughs> but the view is nice from Nice, here. yeah. Unfortunately, it's not raining today. Just go straight this straight. road. Straight this road. This road. It's <laughs> basically a staircase. <laughs> Guys, this is definitely the first time that I am making this much effort for bread. I can't believe people actually live up here. Do they walk up and down every day? Like this road here. That we were walking up for like the last 50 minutes. Do cars actually no, you know what? Cars actually do drive up here. There are cars parked here in driveways. So they actually do drive up these, these narrow streets. Okay, we found the shop, Ranjari Fujihara. So we bought our bread, we bought four different types of bread and since there's really nowhere to eat it up there, we decided to walk down and we're gonna go back to the port area and eat it over there. By the way, the view from up there was so beautiful. So beautiful and on the way down, the views were nice as well. Lots of stairs but much easier going down than up, I gotta say. Um, now, will we go back up there? to the bakery? I don't know. We have to try this out before we decide. Alright, 
we're back at the part of Sasebo, my favorite place here. And I'm gonna try my first bread that I bought. This is the Gula cheese bread. It's actually a hard type of bread, kind of like a French bread almost. And inside should have a Gula cheese. Oh, look at that. Yeah, nice texture. It's crusty on the outside. Oh, look at that. That's the Gula cheese on the inside. Oiso. Itadakimasu. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is go really well with the wine. That's authentic gold cheese in there. And the bread, the texture is perfect. A little, just tiny bit salty, which is nice. I love the crusty surface. And the inside is a little bit chewy. Really, really good bread. Okay, this one, check this one out. This is a sweet type of bread. This is cinnamon and walnuts, I believe. Um, I don't think Satoshi is going to be able to eat this, so this is all mine. Mm, mm, mm. That is amazing. Mm. Amazing. And you know, it tastes like a Cinnabon, but not overly sweet like a Cinnabon. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love a good Cinnabon, but if I eat the whole thing, like that's it. I got to take a long nap. This one, it's not that sweet. It's like half the sweetness of the cinnamon. Really nice cinnamon flavor. Lots of walnuts on the top. And the bread itself, it's not really fluffy. It's more like a, once again, like a French bread type of bread. It's crusty on the outside and a little fluffy and chewy on the inside. It is delicious. So this is French toast with rum and vanilla. Mm. The density of this bread is really nice because it's soaked in rum. So good, so perfectly. Go through to inside, the center of this bread. Mm. It's like a moisture castella. Rum flavor, um, a little bit raisin, a little bit raisin flavor, and vanilla. And this one is muscat. Muscat and raisin bread. Tear into half. Ooh, it's hard type bread. Oh, 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 here is it's muscat or raisin. Mm. Mm. It's not overly sweet. Fresh raisin flavor. Mm. Bread is chewy. It's really much with this raisin. Okay, we had to walk away from that bench and put away our bread because a gigantic bird was trying to steal <laughs> bread from our hands. <laughs> Scary bird. Anyway, um, we have a couple of hours to kill before dinner time. What are you gonna have for dinner? Burger. Burger, we're gonna have another sasebo burger, of course. So today's dinner is sasebo burger. Yes, Sasebo Burger is a specialty of this city. We are here at C and B Burger. This shop is located at the entrance of the huge shopping street, Yonkacho Shopping Street. And we ordered C and B W Burger. It looks really good. This one is a set of potato and mine is beer. Heineken. Cheers everybody! Nice, oishi. Before burger, I want to try this potato. The same as the burger we ate for lunch, this one must be really crispy. Mm. Outside, crispy. And um, pepper works really good. Mm. 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 This is very cute. Here is heart mark. Two patties with sauce, bacon, cheese, onion, tomato, egg, lettuce, a cheese again and buns. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ma, mmm. This huge bacon works really good. Nice solidness, nice smokiness, and um, it matches with this sauce. So good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And um, soy sauce with sauce. I think mm, it, it matches with this patty 
バーガーパティ。ビーフパティだと思う。This is a very substantial burger. So this is interesting because for lunch time we had the burger at one of the most、uh, oldest、uh, establishments, whereas CMB is a newer place. I'm not sure how long they've been here, maybe、uh, three years or so. But this has become a very popular place for sasebo burgers. It's a pretty big burger, guys. Mmm. I really appreciate the fact that they always toast the bun so nicely. I gotta take another bite though. I only got bun and cheese. My mouth is small. <laughs> Here we go. I'm not sure if it's um 100% beef, but it's so flavorful. I feel like there's a little bit of pork in it. I'm not certain though, but it's really really juicy. Really flavorful. I do want to say though that the bacon that they use in Sasebo, just like everywhere in Japan, is the thick、uh, slab bacon, and it's not the crispy type that you find in U.S., for example. But it's really good. Trust me. I will never get tired of Sasebo Burger. So good. Oh my gosh! It is so cold. I am freezing. But we had a very good food today. We did. It was a very good day. I think Sasebo is gourmet town. I, I agree. I agree. You know, although we only had mainly burgers today all day long, Sasebo is also famous for their lemon steak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beef stew、mm -hmm. and some other dishes as well that we definitely have to try next time.、Mm. We're completely stuffed. As you notice, that we, you know, we shared burgers all day long. We're just so stuffed. We can't eat any more. So unfortunately, we have to save the other. Local dishes for our next trip. By the way, we are going to be going to some new places in Sasebo tomorrow by car.、Mm -hmm. By car, yes, road trip. Road trip, yes, I'm so happy. We are going to eat another good things.、Oh. Maybe, maybe. I hope. I hope. <laughs> All right. So stay tuned for that video coming real soon. And thank you so much for watching. As always, please let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Please smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, why not do so right now? Thank you for watching. See you next delicious video. Bye bye. Bye guys.